think our healthcare system is in for a real change here in the next five to ten years. And I don't think anybody knows exactly what that's going to look like. The major problem of healthcare is not one of the underlying science. The problem is one of organizing and delivering the care. The potential for bringing management and business research and knowledge together with what TDI knows about the way care is actually delivered and the way they study it. And then in, into that mix you take Dartmouth's uh, commitment to learning excellence and to doing educational programs at the very highest level. Um, not only tremendous capability and potential for understanding what happens out there in the world, but, but for improving it. This is the standard of care, absolutely. Okay, here you go, Horace. On, on five, we can start off. Now, in this particular line... Teaching is outstanding. I just felt that it was very personal, very relevant, and very current in the style. I think that's part of the reason why Tuck has such a great reputation, is the ability of the professors to engage and get students to learn on a different level. Something looks odd. If we compare the standard of... Dr. Shumsky really energized me and really made me want to delve into the material and I think I saw evidence of that the next day when I went on to the virtual learning environment and suddenly realized that a bunch of my classmates had already started doing problem sets that were due in four or five days. The hybrid learning mode is really conducive to being able to fit it into your schedule and being able to personalize it. It's a fantastic opportunity to learn while you're practicing Day-to-day -day in healthcare administration, you don't get this discrete period of time where you can interact and talk about the bigger questions, the bigger processes. So the idea that you can have a group of physicians and administrators working on projects together and trying to reconcile their approach is half the value in the program. I think it's really important to have executives at this level have an appreciation for the tools and techniques so when somebody says we need a resource for this, it becomes a priority because you understand intuitively how important these tools are. If you're in an industry that's changing this rapidly and this dramatically, what do you want? You need the human capital within your organization to drive change. Learning a common language that we can communicate with the um, business decision makers on one side and the patients on another um, will really tighten up the process. It's not always going to be an easy way to do it just through national legislation or a big overarching change. And I think there's some imperative upon each institution to create some of that change. You want smart people who can say, this is where I think we should be positioned because it's going to maximize our options and this is how we're going to get there and I'll lead us there. My dad has always told me that there's two things you can do in life. You can either sit on the sidelines and complain or you can go out and actually do something about it.